Okay, hello. What about now, guys? Hi, good night. I can hear you now. Give me a second. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, yes. Perfect. Hello, good evening. I'm so sorry. Don't worry, it's okay. Okay, let's see. Why do I hear a message? Something, there's something here. Okay. And now, can you hear me okay? Okay. Well, good evening, everybody. My name is Douglas Arevalo, and I am going to be your teacher. Let's see, I got Ambar. Maria, Edward, Elvia, and let's see, Miss Asensio, Janira Elizabeth Asensio. Give me a second. Okay. Perfect. Let's see. Good evening, everybody. As I told you, my name is Douglas Arevalo. I'm going to be your teacher for this course. And I know everything is going to be perfect in this class. So let's see. And as I told you, my name is Douglas Arevalo. I am your English teacher. I am, I've been teaching English for 21 years now. Era dos clases de inglés por 21 años a la fecha. It's a pleasure for me to be working with you today. And let me tell you a little bit about myself. Un poquito más cerca de mí. I am 41 years old. Okay. Well, that's it. That's that's me. And what about you? Let's see, Ambar. Please, can you introduce yourself? Uh, good evening, everybody. My name is Amber. Uh, I am 34 years old and I work at Administradores of the Servicios and nice to meet you. Nice meeting you too. It's a pleasure for me to be here with you in this class. Let's see, Maria Alejandra, what about you? Please introduce yourself. Hi, uh, my name is Alejandra and I am 20, 28 years old. I, I work with Amber in Atlantica um, and only. <laughs> and that, okay, perfect. Eduard, Eduard Adamir Noyola, please introduce yourself. Oh, good evening. Um, my name is Edward Noyola. I'm from in Nahuizalco. Uh, I live in Nahuizalco. I I was um, 40, 44 years old. I am. Um, I work. 
I work in Cotecna, El Salvador. Perfect, thank you. Carla, hello, Carla. Carla Mariello, good evening. Hello, I know teacher. you. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Marielo Guevara. I am 24 years old. And I live in Soyapango. I work in Liberia in Nuevo Siglo. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Nice seeing you again, Carla. Nice to meet you, teacher. Fausto, hello. How are you, my friend? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Long time no see you. Gracias. Thank you. Okay. Tell My name about is. Yourself. Okay. My name is. Antonio Landa Verde. Uh, I live in Soyapango. I am 34 years old. Uh, I work in Liberia Nuevo Siglo. Okay, right. perfect. Excellent. Let's see what yes, they have. Carlos Antonio Murillo, good evening. How are you? I cannot hear you, Carlos. Oh, there you are. Good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Carlos Murillo. I am 43 years old. I live in Soyapango, but Actually, I live in Guayua because okay. I work in tele, I don't know how do you say teletrabajo, but I, I work in this from my home and I work in Plan International. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you too, mister. Let's see who else, who else is around. Elvia Janet, hello, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. My name is Elvia Janet Beltran. I live in Santo Tomas. I am 35 years old. I am working in Azure, El Salvador. Okay, perfect. Welcome to the class. Mr. Fernando Gonzalez, welcome. Please introduce yourself. Good evening, everyone. I am Fernando Gonzalez. I am 36 years old. I live in El Congo, Santa Ana, and I work at Alcicol. Perfect, excellent, thank you. Roxana Asensio, please. Roxana. Can you help me? Can you uh, hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, okay. Uh, good night, everybody. My name is Roxana Asensio. Uh, I am 31 years old. I live in Soyapango. And right now I'm working in Administradora de Servicios. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Let's see, let's see who else is around. Yanira Elizabeth Asensio. Good evening, everybody. Uh, I am Janira Asensio. I am 40 years old. I live in Soyapango and I work in Administradores de Servicio. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you too, me. Okay, let's see who else. Marta, hello, Marta. Hello, good evening. My name is Marta. I am 46 years old. I work in Administradores. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you too. Welcome to the class. Linda, thank Tuka. you. Hello, how are you? Hi, teacher. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. I'm good, thank you. Uh, my name is Linda. I, I am 21 years old and I am working in Bershka Galerias. I live in San Salvador. Okay, perfect, thank you. Silvia Vendaña, hello. Good 
Hello, good evening. My name is Silvia. I am 21 years old and I live in La Libertad, El Tonte, and I work for Palo Verde Hotel. I work as a receptionist. Okay, excellent. Nice to meet you, everyone. Nice meeting you. Oh, that's a beautiful dish. But it's hot. Okay, let's yes. see. Yes, everybody. Okay, I will speak in Spanish for a second because I need to give some uh, instructions. I need to give some instructions to you guys. Let's see. Voy a hablar en español. Porque necesitamos dar unas pequeñas indicaciones. Recordemos, por favor, que es muy importante el que tengamos las cámaras encendidas, eh, la asistencia a las videoconferencias es mandatory, tenemos que asistir al 80% de la videoconferencia como mínimo. Eh, bueno, todos ustedes ya lo saben, esto es más nuevo para ustedes, pero igual es bueno recordarles eh, que vamos a estar trabajando utilizando el manual. Eh, déjenme ver qué más. Voy a tomar la asistencia en tres ocasiones durante la clase, al inicio, unos 15 minutos después del inicio, a las 9 de la noche y antes de terminar la clase. Y me voy a estar reuniendo con algunos de ustedes unos minutitos después de la clase. Yo siempre les voy a estar informando a la clase, les voy a decir a este, la persona que se quede unos minutos conmigo. Y estas son las sesiones personalizadas en las cuales pues nos ayudamos, conversamos un poco y posiblemente puede ser que nos ayudemos con algunos tips, algunas ideas. Y nuevamente en español, claro, en el video prévalo, eh, trabajando con ustedes. Importante que recordemos, esta es su clase, razón por la cual cualquier duda, cualquier cosa que no quedó clara, coméntenos, estoy acá para ayudarles. Eh, igual en el grupo de WhatsApp, ustedes me escriben, yo con gusto les ayudo. Quiero ver qué más. Eh, cualquier inquietud me la hacen saber, estamos para ayudarnos. El trabajo de la plataforma, igual, muy importante. Acuérdense, este, en mi caso, yo trato de ir verificando si se avanzó cualquier día de la semana, no se preocupe que yo lo voy actualizando a diario. Para que al final, pues, ya no tengamos abajo. Les recomiendo por favor avanzar en la plataforma. Y cualquier duda que tengan en la resolución de la misma, pues me la hacen saber. Eh, en el grupo ya me identifiqué, no lo puedo hacer. Cualquier duda me comunica. Um, no, ¿Is there any question? If not, we are going to start. Okay. Yes. Dulas, lo siento que le interrumpa. Eh, se le escucha muy suave. No sé si solo soy yo. No, no, justamente eso les iba a comentar. Yo no sé cómo me escuchan a mí ustedes, pero, pero sí, yo le escucho bien, bien como bien lejos. Mucho eco. Yo también le escucho bien suave, por eso quité la cámara para acercarme más al para Yo también escucho suave. Y no sé si alguien más tiene el micrófono abierto que se escuchaba en ruiditos. Vamos a ver en este momento, vamos a... ¿Ahora me escuchan? Eh, sí, se escucha un poco mejor. ¿Se escucha mejor ahí? Sí, se escucha mejor. Sí, teacher. Oh, ok, yes. perfecto. Entonces vamos a dejar eso. Y tengo más de un micrófono, entonces estaba probando porque al inicio tenía problemas conectándolos. Ok, entonces... Eh, teacher... Uh... I am in my work right now, so I want to know if I can be with my camera off well, for a moment. Uh, at least, at uh, least when I take the attendance, please. 
I didn't, I didn't understand you. Bueno, tan pronto pueda, por favor, me la activa, porque sí es un requerimiento que en la supervisión siempre lo toman en cuenta ellos. ¿Ok? Yo, sal, yo, salgo, a, yo salgo de mi trabajo a las nueve, estando en mi casa tendría que activarla. Ok, perfecto. Gracias, Permiso. teacher. Perfect. Let's see. First of all, I need to take the attendance. Let's see. Today is the 24th. Okay. Ambar Eli Alfaro. Presente. Thank you. Andrea Beatriz Rendero Cibrián. Here. Edward Ademir Noyola Brito. Present teacher. Thank you. Elvia Janet Beltrán de Cabrera. Present teacher. Fausto Antonio Landa Verde. Present teacher. Thank you. Fernando Marvin González. Thank you. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa. Present teacher. Thank you. And... Jocelyn Alexandra Fuentes Molina. Carla María Los Guevara Callejas. Present teacher. Leslie Fernández Ochoa. Linda Marlene Acosta Barrera. María Present. Alexandra Barrientos Romero. Presente. Presente. Linda Marlene Acosta Present. Barrera, presente. Marta Navelinda Morales de Teacher. Portillo. Yes. Teacher. Teacher. Sí, Linda, le tomé la asistencia. Marta Patricia Díaz González. Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. Roxana Iveta Asensio. Present. Thank you. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño. Present, teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Wilfredo Guardado. Yanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present. Thank you. Carlos Antonio Murillo. Present teacher. Thank you. And Sandra Beatriz Hernández. Okay, perfect. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, guys. Well, uh, let's see. Okay. Perfect. Well, today, as I told you, uh, we are going to start working and remember this is the beginners uh, we are in beginners five this is the level we are going to be working and the unit number one talks about manufacturing okay so let's start uh, let's see what do you know about manufacturing have you worked or do you work in a company that manufactures any type of product is there any one of you who works in a company that manufactures like clothing, pieces, material? No much? What is manufacture? Manufacturing is like uh, when we talk like uh, the, the companies that make uh, shirts, they manufacture shirts, okay? or perhaps uh, like a company that produces uh, equipment, they manufacture pieces, right? Okay, Those okay. are manufacturing. So does any one of you work in that type of company? No, okay, let's see. Well, the manufacturing process, as you know, it's like that, a process. And we are going to analyze first vocabulary related to it, okay? So let's see. 
we are going to start with a conversation, okay? So let me share with you. I'm going to share the screen with you so you can watch it. And this, and this is it. So, so I'm going to read the conversation for you. Mark, would you explain us what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. This is how we make our top seller. First, we have a thick layer of chocolate. Second, we add a thin layer of lime almond. Sounds great. And Finally, we add ginger. But what about people who are diabetic? Can they eat it? I'm not going to lie. The amount of sugar is too high. We consider those customers and we have other products. We have a candy bar and bubble gum with zero sugar content. Great, let's take a look. Questions about the vocabulary, guys? Is there any question? ¿Alguna pregunta con el vocabulario? Eh, top seller. What is the meaning for that? Top seller. Okay. When we talk about top seller, we are saying that that product is the one who sells the best. Hablamos del que se vende mejor. Okay. That's the top seller. The top seller product. Okay. What does it mean, thick lawyer? Thick. Yes. Thick means, uh, okay, I'm going to just give me a second. That I'm going to share the conversation in the, in the group so everybody can have it. There you go. Okay, thick. When we say thin, it's like this. Thick. It's like this, okay? Like uh, one page is one page is very thin, okay? So the página is thin, but like uh, this agenda is thick, ancho, okay? We are talking about the, the, actually, we are talking about the, what we in Spanish call grosor. Is it clear now? Yes? Oh. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Perfect. Let's look at it again. Mark, would you explain us what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. This is how we make our top seller. First, we add a thick layer of chocolate. Second, we add a thin layer of slice of almond. Slice of. Okay, when we say slice of, we mean cut in pieces, okay? In slices. Sounds great. And then finally, we add ginger. Okay, now this word, ginger. Ginger is used in English for two different situations, okay? We use ginger when we talk about the, 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 the I don't know what's that, uh, tuberculum, jengibre. But also, you will listen sometimes people calling ginger to the persons who got red hair. People who got red hair, they also call them ginger, okay? Los pelirrojos, they also call them ginger. Let's continue. But what about people who are diabetic? Can they eat it? I'm not going to lie. The amount of sugar is too high. We consider those customers and we have other products. We have a candy bar and bubble gum with zero sugar content. Great. Let's take a look. Let me pronounce one more time for you. Mark, 
Would you explain us what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. This is how we make our top seller. First, we add a thick layer of chocolate. Second, we add a thin layer of sliced almond. Sounds great. And then, finally, we add ginger. But what about people who are diabetic? Can they eat it? I'm not going to lie. The amount of sugar is too high. We consider those customers and we have other products. We have a candy bar and bubble gum with zero sugar content. Great. Let's take a look. Okay, guys. In the group, I send you the a screenshot of the conversation and also a recording. Okay. Now we are going to work in room, in the breakout rooms. Okay. Let's see. and groups are created please jump in you will have three minutes for you to practice the conversation then we are going to reproduce it here jump in please Okay, let's see who is it working. Tienes que estar en el trabajo. Jocelyn, you are working. Okay. okay. Uh, I'm going to be Anna and you can be Mark, right? Okay, okay. I am going to start. Um, Mark, would you explain us what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. This is how we make our top seller. First, we add the thick layer of chocolate. Second, we add a thin layer of slight almonds. Sounds great. And then? Finally, we add ginger. And, and here we have Diana. <laughs> Oh. Okay, I am going to. Uh, but what about people who are diabetic? Can they eat it? I'm not going to lie. The, the amount of sugar is too high. We consider those customers and we have other products. We have a candy bar and bubble gum with zero sugar content. Great. Let's take a look. Okay, okay. guys. Just, just a few words. Manufacturing. 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 Mm -hmm. It's like this, Edward. Like, uh, let's see. Say chuco. Chuco. Say with me. Diga conmigo. Chuco. 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 Okay. Mm. Slow. Chuco. Shuko. Shuko. Now, manufacturing. 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 Perfect. Excellent. That's it. Manufacturing. Okay. Switch. Hello, guys. You finish? Yes. Did you switch roles? Yes, of course. 
Okay, what about Fausto? Did he practice? Uh, ahorita for teacher. Okay, okay. Please, one more minute. Okay. Hello, guys. Hi, teacher. What? You don't have it? Hi, teacher. Do you want me to teacher. share it? Teacher. Yes. Hi, I'm Wilfredo. Hey, Mister. I I talking with. Hi, sir. I talking with uh, with Carla. That I told her that I I didn't didn't get get connection because I I don't have the the link. But uh, two minutes ago, I can do it. I but, could. I could. Thank you. But, but you're I, here. That's that's what I, matters. Yes, I got. I didn't be sure if I I'm. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, don't worry. We are going to practice in the main room. We are going to the main room right now, okay? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Walter. Long time no see you. Yes, yes. Yeah. 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 And the problem, the connection, the platform. Uh, nice to have you here, Walter. Excuse me? It's nice having you here. Un gusto tenerlo por acá. Okay, thank you, teacher. Ah, oh, no, you're, you're welcome. welcome. Thanks to you. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Who's gonna start? Let's see, who's going to start? Who's gonna be first? Quien será primero? Let's see. Let me see, is everybody here? Yep, everybody's here. I got 16 out of me. Let's see who do I don't have Walter Mauricio Morales is present. What else did I have the agenda? Who has not had any assistance? Wilfredo Guardado is also present. Perfect. Okay, let's see who's gonna start. Veamos quién va a comenzar. Maria Alejandra, you are going to start. You and Walter Mauricio. I'm going to project the 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 conversation. Okay. For you to do okay. okay, so you are Anna, Walter is Mark, and I'm gonna be Diana, okay? Okay, I am Mark. Yes. Uh, uh, Mark, would you explain us what the manufacturing process is? Excuse me, teacher, no, no puedo ver bien la, no puedo ver bien la, la, y no he descargado okay. todavía la, I send it to the WhatsApp group. Se las envía el grupo de WhatsApp. Sí, puede enviarme la la veo de ahí, lo leo de allí. Oh, I did it already. Ya se las envié. Check it out. No teacher. Let's see. Okay, don't worry, Walter. We are going to give you the opportunity later. Me va a ayudar luego, 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 luego. So, Maria and okay. Ana, 
Roxana, you help Maria. So Maria, start again, please. Again. Yes. Okay. Mark, uh, would you explain us what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. This is how we make our top seller. First, we add a thick layer of chocolate. Second, we add a thin layer of sli sliced almonds. So great. And then? Finally, we add ginger. But what about people who are diabetic and they eat it and they eat it? I'm not going to lie. The, um, the amount of sugar is too high. We consider it to customers and we have other products. We have a candy bar and bubble gum with zero sugar content. Great, let's take a look. Perfect. Now remember, manufacturing, manufacturing, okay? Sounds great. Oh, and here, wood, wood, wood. It's a soft sound, wood, okay? Now let's see, Francisco Eduardo and Eduard Ademir, please. Francisco, you are going to start. Do you have the manual or do you want me to, to, to share the screen? Lo tiene, no se la comparto. Yes, I have. Mark, would you explain us what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. This is how we make our top seller. First, we add the thick layer of chocolate. Second, we add a thin layer of sliced almonds. Sounds great. And then? Finally, we add ginger. But what about people who are diabetic? Can they eat it? I'm not going to lie. The almond, the amount of sugar is too high. We consider those customers and we have other products. We have a candy bar and bubble gum with zero sugar content. Please, let's take a look. Great. Great. Okay, Fernando González and Wilfredo Guardado, please. What's that? Fernando, Mark. Fernando start? starts. Okay. Mark, would you explain us what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. This is how we make our Top seller. First, we add a, a thick layer and chocolate. Second, we add a thin layer, layer of sliced almonds. Sounds great. And then? We are ginger. But, but what about people what about, who are diabetic? Can they eat it? I'm not going to lie. The amount of sugar is too high. We consider it to customer and we have other products. We have a candy bar and bon bumble gum with zero sugar con con content. Great. Let's take a look. Okay. Perfect, thank you very much. Now, let's see. Fausto and Carlos Antonio. Fausto, you will start. Okay. Uh, Mark, will you explain us what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. This is how we make our top seller. First, we add a thick layer of chocolate. Second, 
we are thin layer sliced almonds. So great. And then? Finally, we have ginger. But what about people who are diabetic? Can they eat it? I'm not going to lie. The amount of sugar is too high. We consider those customers and we have other products. We have a candy bar and bubble bar with zero sugar content. Great. Let's take a look. Perfect. Excellent. Very well done, Fausto. Elvia, Janet, and let's see, let's see, let's see, Amber. Okay, teacher. Mark, would you explain us what the manufacture process is? Absolutely. This is how we make our top seller. First, we add a thick layer of chocolate. Second, we add a thin layer of sliced albums. So great. And then? Finally, we add ginger. But what about people who are diabetic? Can they eat it? I am not going to lie. The amount of sugar is too high. We consider those customers as we have other products. We have a candy bar and bullet gum with zero sugar content. Great, let's take a look. Excellent, very well done. Now let's see, let's see, let's see. Carla and Janita, please, let's do it. Who start? Uh, Carla, you start. Carla, you are in mute. Lo siento, teacher. Mark, could you explain us what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. This is how we make our top seller. First, we add a thick layer of chocolate. Second, we add a thin layer of slide al almonds. Sounds great. And then? Finally, we add ginger. But what about people who are diabetic? Can they eat it? I'm not going to lie. The amount of sugar is too high. We consider those customers and we have other products. We have a candy bar and bubble gum with zero sugar content. Great, oh. let's take a look. Perfect, excellent ladies. Marta and Silvia, let's do it. We start. Uh, and they start. Oh. oh, Sylvia, okay, perfect. You start. Okay. okay. Mark, would you explain us what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. This is how we make our top seller. First, we add thick layer of chocolate. Second, we add thin layer of slight album. Sounds right. And then? Finally, we add ginger. Oops, I'm sorry. But what about people who are diabetic? Can they eat it? I am not going to lie. The amount of sugar is too high. We consider those customer and we have other products. We have a candy bar, a bubble gum with zero sugar content. Great. And let's take a look. Excellent. Very well done. Now, Linda and Francisco Eduardo. Linda, you are going to start. Francisco Eduardo, you ready? Hi. Yeah. And Mark. Yes, Linda. Linda, you start. Francisco, you are next. Okay. Okay. Mark. Would you explain us what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. This is how we make our top seller. Mm -hmm. First, we add a thin layer of chocolate. Second, we add a thin layer of sliced almonds. 
Sound great. And then? Finally, without ginger. ginger. But what about people who are diabetic? Can they eat it? Um, I'm, I'm not going to lie the amount of sugar is too high. We consider just consumer and we have other products. We have a candy bar and bubble gum with zero sugar content. Great, let's take a look. Perfect. Now let's see, let's see. Let's check it out again because I want to emphasize some little bit there. Okay, mm -hmm. voy a compartir de nuevo porque quiero enfatizar algunos pequeños detalles. Okay, so bear with me. Okay, here. Mark, listen. Mark, would you, would, in this case, the letter L doesn't sound. En este caso, la letra L no suena. Would you, would you, would you explain us what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. This is how we make our top seller. First, we add a thick, 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 like, like if you're saying a Z in Spanish, thick layer of chocolate. Second, we add a thin, again, thin layer of sliced almonds. Sliced almonds. Sounds great. And then, finally, we add ginger. But what about, in this case, remember, the letter T, the sound of the letter T becomes R. What about? What about? But what about people who are diabetic? Can they eat it? I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna. Going to can be pronounced gonna. I'm not gonna lie. The amount, the amount of sugar is too high. We consider those customers and we have other products. We have a candy bar and bubble gum, bubble, bubble gum with zero, zero sugar content. Great, let's take a look. Now, there's something that I need to be clear. Some of you already know it, but some of you are still having a problem. Uh, hay algo más que quiero aclarar. Algunos de ustedes ya lo conocen, pero algunos sí noto que les está costando un poquito. And it's better if we fix it right now. Okay? Remember, guys. Let's see. Remember, we have the amount. The problem. Now, when we have When we have this word before a vowel, the sound of this is D, D, the amount. When it comes before a consonant, the sound is the or that. So here, the amount, the problem, the problem. You see, D. In this case, the sound is D. Any question? No questions? Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, any doubts about the process that we were talking about? Remember, what they are saying is the process. So they explain first second, then, finally, after. Those words are like setting up the steps to follow, the order in which you perform the activity. Like, let's see, let's see, let's see. Fausto, what do you do in your company? Uh, in my company, uh, I prepare. I purchase order 
Okay. I, uh, I check the, the purchase orders and send email. Okay, now tell me, uh, how do you do a purchase order? What steps do you follow? Oh, uh, purchase orders here is uh, every day. Okay, that's a process that you do every day. Yes. Okay. How do you do it? Do you follow any step? ¿Sigue algún proceso para hacer una orden de compra? Uh, what information do you need to make a purchase order? ¿Qué necesita para hacer una? Uh, the name of the client. Okay. Uh, the, um, the items, number, the, the number, number purchase. Okay, perfect. Um, the price, the price, the price, and the price, you need the price. And uh, okay, that's say? enough. That's uh, enough. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. That's enough. What was the word again? Uh, total. 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 Okay. Thank you. Just let me do something. Thank you very much. It's like in my case. Thank you. Also, like in my case, imagine that I need to prepare a class. I need to prepare a class. Okay. How do I do? Well, first, uh, I check out the manual. I get the objectives from the manual. Then I check all the information i set up the different activities according to the methodology i prepare the extra resources if needed extra, and then i teach the class so that's the process first second then finally i am saying i am stating Steps. Remember, I am saying the steps in which I'm going to perform something. Keep that in mind because we are going to work with it. Manténgalo en mente porque vamos a trabajar con eso, okay? Now, let's see. I'm sorry, guys. I need to take the attendance again. Let's see. Ambar Eli Alfaro Gomez. Present teacher. Thank you, Ambar. Andrea Beatriz Rendero Cibrián. Go here. Okay, let's see. Edward Ademir Noyola Brito. Present teacher. Elvia Janet Beltrán de Cabrera. Present teacher. Fausto Antonio Landaverde López. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Thank you. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Thank you. Jocelyn Alexandra Fuentes Molina. Okay. Carla Marielos Guevara Callejas. Carla. Leslie Fernández Ochoa. Linda Marlene Acosta Barrera. Present teacher. Present Thank you, teacher. Carla. Thank you, Linda. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present. Thank you. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. 
Thank you. Marta Patricia Díaz González. Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Thank you. Walter Mauricio Morales. Present teacher. Thank you. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. Janira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. Present teacher. Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martínez. No, okay, perfect. Now let's see, let's see guys. According to our plan, right now we are going to be working. Okay. Now I'm going to explain some vocabulary for you, right? Let me share again. Vamos a hablar sobre un vocabulario. Okay, let's see, let's see. Look, we have words to make steps in a process. We have first, second, third. Remember, this is primero, segundo, third. Then, this is like luego, entonces. Later. Más tarde, after, después, right after, a continuación, next, final, examples. First, combine margarine, sugar, two eggs, and vanilla. Second, separately combine flour, baking powder, and salt. Third, combine both mixtures with milk. Later, chill for one hour. Chill, the carencia. Now, with that word, I'm going to make a pause. With that word, we have to be careful with chill. Like, imagine that Fausto asks me, hey, teacher, how you doing? And I say, oh, here, chilling. If I say that word, if I say the word chilling, like this, let me text it to you. If I say chilling, usually the word means enfriar. But if I say it like in the context, like, hey, how are you? Uh, what you doing? And you say, oh, chilling, it means uh, al suave, tranquilo, cool. That's chilling. Relax. Yeah, yeah. It's very informal. It's actually very informal. But uh, let's see, somebody who was a teenager around, I think it's an adolescent, say around the 2000s and so 2000, 2010, it's going to use that expression, chilling, okay? In order to say like, relax, easy, okay? Let's continue. So, later chill for one hour. After, roll the mixture to about a quart inch thick. A quart inch, un cuarto de pulgada. Next, cook cookies. Finally, bake for 10 minutes. Any question with this vocabulary? No? What is the meaning for right after? Right after, exactamente después. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other question? Sure. Yes. Uh, we can use this this guy to explain any process. Or, yes, or... yes, yes, um, okay. yes. Like, like imagine that I am explaining to you, let's see, what process? Um, tell me a process that you would like to have explained. Dígame un proceso. Yeah, for example, I can tell you uh, to make um, to make a coffee. 
for example. Okay, to prepare a cup of coffee. Perfect. What do you do, Wilfredo? Okay, first, the first step, I I will put the water. How do you say? Okay. Calentar agua. Well, actually, you put it to boil. You boil water. First, boil, boil water. water. Ah, okay. okay. Next, I put the coffee. Uh, depends. It is in instant coffee, or you have to, to put in to the put it on the machine on the filter. Okay. okay. Then, um, put the sugar. Okay. And uh, third step, um, you can mix sugar and coffee. And when the water it is ready, you mix. Okay. Then you, you pour. Hide. Pour. That's actually a verb. Ahí hay un verbo interesante. Pour. Vaciar. Un líquido. That's um, pour. Okay. Pour. Like, ah, no, no, pour, pour. Pobre, pour, pour the no. water? Double, double. No, no. Yeah. That's double O. Pour, yeah. pour. Okay, then for the water. Yes, you can explain processes like that. Okay. Then you can you can enjoy. Buy. It, is, it is good and enjoy with a, with a cup. <laughs> okay, okay, let's see. So you see it's it's like that, Wilfredo. You can use it like that. Let's see, let's see who can explain another process. Roxana, Roxana, you are very quiet. Please explain a process to me. Maybe when you are uh, prepare um, some hamburger. Okay, a hamburger. That's cool. I love hamburgers. Tell me, how do I prepare a hamburger? Uh, the first uh, in the first uh, steps. For me, is wash the vegetables. Okay, you wash the vegetables. Perfect. And then, then. to uh, second uh, steps is prepare the um, beef. Okay. The, um, uh, I don't know how to say uh, casserola or parrilla. Pan in the pan. The pan and the um, third step for me is is uh, organize uh, the hamburger first you need, uh, you need the bread and right after put it then the um, uh, mo um, ketchup and then you can um, you can uh, Put up then the the beef, okay. and the next you can uh, use the vegetables, and uh, finally you you put uh, the bread. Okay, perfect, excellent. And then we get fat. Yeah, but hamburgers are cool. I love them. Thank you. You are getting me hungry, guys. No. One guy the cup of coffee, now the hamburger man. Let's see who else can explain a process to me. Let's see, let's see. Elvia. Hello, Elvia. Tell me a process, please. Hello, teacher. Hello. I'll make it easy for you, Elvia. <laughs> I'll make it easy for you. Tell me the process that you follow to get ready in the morning. Dígame el proceso, el orden que sigue para alistarse por la mañana. I first is take a shower. Okay, perfect. And second is Dre get dressed get dressed is perfect dear brush a thing 
Okay, brush my teeth. Then... What about the makeup? Uh, comb, comb your hair. Brush, brush my hair. Okay, brush my hair. And later, make makeup. Okay, apply makeup. Um, and that's it. Okay, no breakfast. Finally. You don't prefer breakfast? Oh, that's bad. That's bad. <laughs> I would not. Okay, excellent, excellent. Very well done, guys. Now, I am going. We are going to do an exercise. Vamos a hacer un ejercicio. Okay. Let me just prepare a little something for you to work. Okay. Let's see if we know how to prepare coffee. Let's see. There are here some steps for us to follow. We are working in the manual in page number 10. Estamos trabajando en el manual en la página 10. Okay, you got it? And let me share with you. Se la voy a compartir. Okay, look. The exercise five states for us. Read the description of the top selling product of a chocolate factory in El Salvador. Below, you will find the steps to produce this product. Now, we have dark chocolate espresso. Made with our smooth dark chocolate and chunks of our organic espresso bean. Get your chocolate and coffee fix all at once with this delicious treat. Two dollars. Okay. Look, the first step is we process top quality cocoa beans to produce the cocoa mass. Now, guys, which one is second? Which one is third step? Which one is fourth? I am going to share with you the image. Le voy a compartir la imagen. Okay. So you can check it out. Que la veamos. And then, working in pairs, you are going to tell me. Y luego trabajan en parejas, me van a decir. How do you do it? Okay. What's the order? That's what I'm interested in. Es lo que nos interesa en este momento. The correct order. Okay. Now. Okay, Francisco, I got you. Now, I sent you already the, the, the image in the group. Depending on the manual, if you don't have the manual, if you have the manual, it's even better. You will have four minutes to try to get, as a group, the order, the correct order, and then we are going to discuss, okay? So remember, four minutes, starting, oops, I'm sorry. Okay, groups are created. Let's do it. Let's jump in for minutes. Hello guys. Hey Linda, nice shirt. No. I love it. Nice t-shirt. Ah, uh, thank you, thank you. Uh, <laughs> Easy, this is. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, guys. You got the image there. What you need to discuss is what's the correct order. Okay. Of the steps for preparing that cup of coffee. Okay. If you got any questions, let me know. 
Okay. Hey. Yes, it's in cash number ten. Also, you are like this. You are like sorry. Okay, that's. <laughs> oh, that's, that's better. Right. That's better. Remember, you need to discuss and tell me the order, okay? Uh, I don't know the, the manual. Yeah, in the page number 10. Are you there? First step. The first step is uh, we process top quality coca bean to produce the cocoa mass. Yeah. Um, I then think the cocoa mass goes straight to the factory. Uh huh. Yes, this is second second step. Yeah. The cocoa mass goes straight to the factories in La Union or Santana. Okay. And then the chocolate, uh, the chocolate factory will pass the grooms through a bean mill. Perfect. Then. Maybe we mix the grooms with cocoa liquor and coffee beans as well as special chocolate flavor. Perfect. Now look. Uh, nos saltamos algo ahí. Oh, okay. Because we, you mix the crumbs, but the crumbs Si ven la de arriba, dice, the milk evaporates to make milk chocolate crumbs. Todavía nos falta. Sorry, but I can hear uh, we condense, bath. We condense fresh whole milk. We add sugar to the condensed milk with some of the cocoa mass. Okay. Ah, uh, with add the sugar. The milk, the milk evaporates to make to make milk chocolate crumbs. We mix the crumbs with cocoa liquor and coffee beans, as well as special chocolate flavoring. We cook. No, uh, I'm sorry. At the chocolate factory, we pass the crumbs through a pin mill. We mix the crumbs with cocoa, and then we cook these ingredients together. Chocolate undergoes the final special production stage, refining, crunching, and tempering. We produce a rich, creamy chocolate liquid. Check them out. Listen. I'll be back. Thank you. What? 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 What, what, what? <laughs> Maybe see. next pass a chocolate factory with pass cocoa. Let's see, no, number Maybe one, we process. We process, we, number no, two. We process two. The uh, cocoa goes straight to the factory in La Union or Santa Ana. Mm. Perfect. We, then? Produ we produce we a produce cream chocolate and like what? 
Liquid. No. No. Uh, uh, the meal evaporate to stop. I don't know. We condense fresh whole milk. Condense. Then the milk evaporates to make milk chocolate crumbs. At the chocolate factory, we pass the crumbs through a thin meal. We mix the crumbs with cocoa liquor and coffee beans, as well as a special chocolate flavoring. Yes. We cook these ingredients hey, together. Can you repeat? Can you repeat? No, I cannot. I cannot. <laughs> That's it. Please. That's it. It's okay. I, 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 I take. <laughs> it's, it's okay. I take a note. We process top quality cocoa beans to produce the cocoa mass. The cocoa mass goes. Hey. Hello. Hello, guys. You finished? Hello. Not yet, teacher. Yo estaba solo. Do you need two more minutes? Please. Okay, two more minutes. Okay, thank you, teacher. I'm Francis. Yeah, okay. Si no, no puedo participar. <laughs> yes, I know. Pero, pero ahí en el grupo, en el grupo mandaron la foto. Yes, ahí atrás, de, uh, ajá, atrás de lo que de, de donde yo mandé, ahí está la foto. Okay. And uh, three second, three. Okay. Yes. Number three. Number three. Mm. Uh, I think it's okay. we produce a rich. What do you think? Uh, we call this is ingredients. So girl. No. Ingredients. Ingredients. Okay. Ingredients. No, but no, no, I don't know. Mm. I think it's we produce a rich, creamy chocolate liquid. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. That... yes. And, with, with the, and with chocolate liquor and coffee. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sí, porque después de eso lo pasan, lo licuan y es lo que van a entender ahí. Yes, we produce the rich creamy, creamy chocolate liquid. That could be number three. The third step. Um, number four. Three and ten. Ten. Let's see. We process top quality cocoa beans to produce the cocoa mass. The cocoa mass goes straight to the factories in La Unión or Santa Ana. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, yes. Okay, then, then we, con we... Then, uh, we condense fresh whole milk. Right? That's the we add step. sugar to the condensed milk with some of the cocoa mass. The milk evaporates to make milk chocolate crumbs. We mix the crumbs with cocoa liquor and coffee beans as well as a special chocolate flavoring. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we cook these ingredients together. Chocolate undergoes the final special production stages in refining, crunching, and tempering. And then we produce a rich, creamy chocolate liquid. Okay, guys, 60 seconds. 
It's the second. Okay. Let's see, guys. I'm going to project again the page for you and you are going to tell me the order of the process, okay? Let's see, let's see, let's see. How is it going to be? Okay. Let's see, number one. It's right there, please, Amber, read number one. We process top quality cocoa beans to produce the cocoa mass. To produce the cocoa mass, perfect. Yes. Now, Fausto, number two. Um, maybe the cocoa mass goes straight to the factory in La Union or Satan. Perfect. Number three, let's see. Edward, number three. Uh, I think um, at the chocolate factory, we pass the crumbs through a pin mill. Mm. The problem is there is that look here, the milk evaporates to make milk chocolate crumbs. Aquí es donde se crean los crumbs. Then passes here. So let's see, let's see again. So we have here, this is number one. We say that this one was number two. Number three, guys. Teacher. Yes. I'm sorry. The screen, I can look well. Oh, let's see. Perhaps this helps. Veamos si le ayuda. Okay, who's got number three? ¿Cuál tenemos como número tres? Number two, we add sugar to the condensed milk with some of the cocoa mass. Okay, then. Oh no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, no. my bad. Number my bad, two my is bad. the cocoa mass straight. Yes. Yes, you're right. This is number two. I'm sorry. This is not correct. Number three. The milk evaporate. Okay, number three. Let's see. We condense fresh whole milk. Look. We condense fresh full milk. Then we add sugar to the condensed milk with some of the cocoa mass. The milk evaporates to make milk chocolate crumbs. We mix the crumbs with, oh, I'm sorry, here. At the, at the chocolate factory, we pass the crumbs through a pin mill. This is number six, and this is number seven. We mix the crumbs with cocoa liquor and coffee beans, as well as a special chocolate flavoring, okay? We cook these ingredients together, okay? Chocolate undergoes the final special production stages, refining, crunching, and tempering. And at the end, finally, we produce a rich, creamy chocolate liquid. A little bit complex, right? A little complicado, right? But 
we are going to do a different type of activity now. Vamos a algo distinto. Okay, let's see. What are we going to do? Very simple. I'm going to divide you in groups. Working in groups, I'll give you exactly seven minutes. Seven minutes. You will choose one product. And you will tell me how that product is made. Okay? It can be whatever. What I want you to do is the steps, the proper order of the steps. If you want to explain how to prepare a maruchan, that's perfect. But I want the order, okay? And I am going to choose one person. I am going to pick one person from the group to explain to the class. Y yo voy a escoger una persona del grupo para que explique, okay? Is the activity under two? ¿Tenemos la actividad? Yes. Yes. Any question? Yes, teacher. Okay, let me see. We are going to recreate the groups. And perfect. Groups are created, guys. Jump in. Okay, let's go check on the groups. To do what process we can we explain? Huh? Maybe the more common is prepare to the morning. All right. What about what about uh, shining shoes? How do you change your shoes? That's a process. Yeah. That's a process. Put it in order. Share the sentences through the chat, to the Zoom chat. Okay? Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, first I take my. Okay, what? What's the process, guys? What's the process? Tell me. We uh, a product is a pupusa. Oh man, I don't like pupusa. <laughs> Siri. Teacher, For real? Yeah, I don't. Why? Why not? They are no good for me. It's delicious. It's delicious. Yes, Fernando, tell me. How do you say masa para pupusas? <laughs> Mas. Más. Yeah, okay. más. Ok. Um, step two, Marta. Step two. What's your process, guys? Hello, teacher. Hello, what is the process you are going to describe? La verdad no nos hemos puesto de acuerdo, es que Linda como que se le entrecorta, no se le entiende you. bien. Uh -huh. Linda, you can chat, if you don't hear, you can chat, okay? Okay, okay, okay. Pick a process, guys, escojan un proceso. Like, let's see, let's see. Uh, it could be like, how to prepare a sandwich? No. Yeah, why not? Okay, okay, okay. I don't know if my, how do you say, compañeros, farmers? Classmates, classmates, partners. I agree. Remember, you can, you can use the chat to get the sentence together, okay? Yo le puse put on, put on the car in the pan. Tell me, what is the process? Huh? Uh, prepare what is your popcorn. Process? popcorn. Popcorn. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> the old-fashioned or the new style? 
Because I just put the bag on the microwave and that's it. No, in the pan. Oh, okay. No, that I cannot that way. Así que no puedo. No, 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 I'm just coming here. Ah, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, no miraba la pantalla. Okay, tell me, what is your process? Ah, okay. Well, yes, teacher, we, you have, we just have one question. How do you say, we are going to prepare pupusas, but we would oh, like to know how do you say. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Tiene tu grupo, pero, pero no problem, estoy... no problem. Okay, and the question is, how do you say curtido? Hmm, curtido. Tanning. Curtido, no. Tanning? Tanning, tanning, no. Tanning, es, tanning es el proceso que usted hace para curtir, pero cueros. Ah, okay. okay. Usted agarra un cuero, lo lava, le pone cal, luego le pone el sol, eso es tanning. Ah, es para como curtir, pero no curtir de curtir de repente. No, usted me está hablando de encurtir. Ok. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, what do you think it's the first step to do to make pupusas? Hmm. I think it's to do the mass. Mass is significa massa, right, teacher? Yes. Mass. Okay. To make okay. or to do? Yes. To do to prepare now. Uh -huh, uh, to prepare. First, we prepare the mass. Okay, first, we prepare the mass. Um, Look in the in the chat. Let's see. Then the chat. Okay. Okay. Pickle. Cabbage, pickled cabbage. Ah, pickled cabbage. Oh, okay. That's encurtido. Pickled cabbage. Pickled Okay. Okay. Uh, Sylvia, I think before yes. we prepare, I think we before we prepare the mask, we have to prepare the beans. Oh um, yes. Mm -hmm. and yes. Pickle cabbage and um, sauce. Okay. Let's start with the cabbage. Okay, uh, we can say first we prepare the cabbage, the sauce, and we cook the beans. And then we, uh, we prepare the cheese. Yes. Yes. El segundo, put on the core in the pan. On the core in the, in the pan. Second. Ah. Um, sandwich spread or algo así, maybe. What do you mean? Uh, un aderezo? Uh, uh, 
por Let's ejemplo. Dressing. 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 Ajá, first. Okay, first. What are you preparing? Oh, you are preparing pupusas, right? Yes. Right. Okay, remember, uh, remember this. Uh, pickled cabbage. Repeat, please, pick, pick, cash. It's in the chat. Se lo mandé al chat. Okay. Thank you. day I have to go how do you say over there what do, you, what do you do in, in, the, in your jobs I'm, I'm not supervisor mm -hmm. uh, I work in American Park ah okay I know I know what what, what companies you? I'm an a engineer uh, I use all day a computer I sit in front of computer all day. I resolve a, a issues. Um, I take a call for the user and I help and I help to resolve um, a problem. Where do, where do you work? I work in administradores de servicio. It is okay. You resolve problem about about another people. Yes, uh, maybe I, in, in occasion I make a queries or a, I make a program for result. You work like a support technical? Uh, it, not really because uh, support technical is... Um, tech support, tech, tech support. Su Tech support is only for, or, or is mo most common to use for um, technician that uh, resolve problem only in the computer, a physical uh, ah. problem. But I, I resolve problem in the program. I make, I use uh, languages for make a program. Okay. Okay, interesting. Yes, there is. I I have to to make a different, but uh, with, with the people, uh, sometimes people, man, every day the people say, says, hey, Guilfredo, can you help me, please? I have problems to make this process because yes. the, I work in packaging department. We, we use a program for uh, for uh, make a ticket. The user puts yeah. a ticket in the in the program, yeah. and uh, and another in another in another person as assign the cases to me. I like in my job because when I have a trouble to
Okay, let's see, let's see. Groups. Carlos, Silvia, and Walter. Who's going to explain? Silvia, you are the lady, and they are gentlemen. Ellos son caballeros y me dijeron damas primero. So, Silvia, you are going to explain. Okay, perfect. Tell me, what is the uh, product? The ingredients that we have is uh, rice or corn, could be both, because we can make uh, rice, pupusas of rice or okay. corn. Okay, mm -hmm. rice yes. pupusas. Yes, okay. Uh, in the ingredients, we have cheese, beans, oil, sauce, and pickled cabbage. And the process to make a pupusas is the next. Mm. First, we prepare uh, the mass, uh, the beans, the cabbage, the sauce. We fry the, the we fry the beans. Uh, second, mm, uh, we when when we have all these prepared uh, second we take a piece of mass and next we take a piece of beans and after that uh, we take a piece of cheese and right after uh, we put the pupusa in a pan and later we add a liter of oil and finally we cook the pupusa and it's ready. Perfect, very well done. It's just that I don't like pupusa. <laughs> Let's see, next, next, next. Room number four was Elvia, Carla, and Roxana. Elvia, it's your turn. You are going to explain to me. They make popcorn. Okay, how to make popcorn? First, by, by popcorn and butter. Okay. Second, milk butter in pan butter butter the butter in pan then pour in the popcorn in the pan perfect after put on a slow fire next and the little add a little salt 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 Salt. Next, cover the pan. Right after, go to minute. Finally, okay. ready to eat. Excellent. Now we have popcorn right there. Then we have room number three, Edward, Francisco, and Linda. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. And Edward, you're going to be the one. Okay. Um, our process is how to make a sandwich. Okay, perfect. Um, first step, um, put two pieces of bread. Pieces. Uh, pieces, pieces. Put cheese on the bread and put le lettuce, lettuce, Le lettuce, lettuce, and tomato. Tomato. Um, tomato, tomato. Put two or more piece of meat or jam on the sandwich and um, add mayonnaise and sandwich spread 
um, join the the pieces and eat, enjoy. Mm. Perfect, <laughs> cool, excellent, excellent. Thank you very much, Edward. Now let's see, in round number two, I have Fernando, Maria, and Marta. Let's see, Fernando Gonzalez, where's Fernando? Oh, there's Fernando, Maria, and Marta. Fernando, you are a gentleman, so please, you're going to do it. Okay, we prepare pupusas. Perfect. Okay, and um, step one. First, we mix in water and fruit to prepare the mask. Okay. Step, step two, right after, put in your hands a portion of mask and make a circle. Great. Step three. Next, put in the circle of mass, cheese, beans, and other ingredients. 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 Okay, uh, step four. Then put the pupusa in the cooking plate until it's cooked. Perfect. Uh, step five. Finally, we serve the pupusa with sauce and pickle collage. Okay, perfect. Remember, pickle cabbage means curtido, okay? What we call curtido. Will you repeat, uh, teacher, please? I will curtido, text it for, I will text it for everybody. Se la voy a poner a todos porque se la vi a los dos grupos, nada más. Okay, let's see, like this, pickled cabbage. Pickled cabbage. Yes, pickled cabbage. Thank you. You're welcome. And now let's see the final group is going to be there was Ambar, Fausto, Wilfredo, and Janina. Let's see who is going to talk. Okay. Ambar, your turn. Okay, the process to clean my shoes. First, okay, take, okay uh, first take my shoes, right after take a wipe and clean it to remove the, the dust. Okay. Uh, can, second, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You can say the dust or you can also say the dirt. Means the same, significa lo mismo. The dust or the dirt. The dirt means la suciedad. Okay, please continue, Amber. Okay, okay. After that, open the shoe space and later put on the shoe space on the shoes. Then Apply. brush the shoes. Apply, I'm sorry. Apply. 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 Okay. Apply on the shoes, paste on. And later, uh, then, sorry, brush the shoes and finally varnish the shoes. Okay, perfect. Excellent. We got very technically on brushing the shoes. Yes. Very well done. Excellent. 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 Now, let's see, guys, uh, for the new ones. Always, whenever we have a class, I like to do a small exercise. Me gusta hacer un ejercicio. At the beginning, in the middle, or at the end, is perhaps little conversations with some of you. Pequeñas conversaciones con algunos de ustedes. Okay? So, we are going to have small conversations. And also, I like to assign a final homework. Y también asigno una tarea final. Okay. The home, that homework is like a presentation that you perform for the end of the course. Esa tarea es como una presentación que me hacen al final del curso. Okay. Tomorrow I'm going to assign the homework, the topic. Mañana les voy a decir más o menos de qué nos va a tratar. Okay. And that's for you to prepare and to practice, right? Now let's see, let's see. Wilfredo, hello, how are you, mister? Hi, teacher. Fine, Tell me, you. Fredo. I'm just great. Where do you work, mister? 
I work in American Park. Okay. In, in uh, I work, what do you do there? Um, I'm a supervisor. I have to supervise the, um, the people during the day. Uh, I, I help to the people to make the process, I, uh, packaging process. Okay, uh, perfect. Yeah. And then um, in the morning, I check the attendant. If I need okay. to cover um, maybe the people or, or some operator needs to go to Seguro Social, I need okay. to cover this position to don't lost production. Okay, not to lose production. Not to lose. Yes, not oh, to okay. lose production. Oh, yeah. very interesting. What's yeah. your schedule, mister? I'm sorry? What's your schedule? What the mean is schedule, teacher? Schedule, okay, my... This class, the schedule for this class is from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Ah, okay. What's okay. your schedule? Oh, I, I arrived to my job at uh, 6 a.m. Okay, wow. Um, you check in at 6? At six. Yeah. It is 7 a.m., but I always, I, I try to be early. Okay, early. remember, but, check Check-in means, check-in is when you register, when you put the finger, the hand, the the eye, yeah. or when you sign, okay? That's check-in. That, I, I don't check-in, but because, how do you say personal administrativo? Administrative personal? Administrative personal, we don't check-in. Oh, hours. hello, that's cool. Yeah, but but we maybe we finish or late but yeah, yeah yeah you see you see your classmates are like oh yeah 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 that's cool but no it is uh, it, it's on cool but not really because uh, sometimes we have to be there very late very late when when we have to make some uh, every month we make an inventory. We have to okay. send many, many reports, but it is no good. When okay, we have stay to... there until late. Stay there until, until late, hasta tarde. Okay. Until okay. late. Thank you very much, mister. Thank you, welcome. Appreciate it. Okay, guys, I need to take the attendance again. Let's see, Ambarelli Alfaro. Present teacher. Okay, Edward Ademir Noyola Brito. Present teacher. Elvia Janet Beltrán de Cabrera. Present teacher. Fausto Antonio Landaverde López. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Jocelyn Alexandra Fuentes Molina. Carla Marielos Guevara Callejas. Present teacher. Thank you. Leslie Fernández Ochoa. Chita. Linda Marlene Acosta Barrera. Linda. Present. Thank you. Teacher María present. Alejandra Barrientos. Present. Marta Anabelinda Morales de Portillo. Present, teacher. Marta Patricia Díaz González. Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Yanira Elizabeth Asensio García. I'm here. Thank you. 
Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you, mister. Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martinez. Not here. Okay, did I mention everybody? Los mencioné a todos? Yes. Perfect. Well, uh, just Janita is going to stay with me. Thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate it. I'm happy to be here with you. I expect you tomorrow. Los espero mañana. Tomorrow I will try to connect before. Mañana trataré de conectarme at least 10 minutes before. Al menos unos 10 minutos antes. So if you connect before, we can be like having conversations, okay? Okay, teacher. Bye. Bye. Thank you, guys. Have a good night. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night, everybody. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Okay, Janira, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher, I'm fine, and you? I'm just great. So tell me, Janira, uh, where have you studied English before? Yes, we have English one. Um, yes, uh, maybe one year ago. One year, oh, really? Which level yeah. did you get? I... I don't remember because um, I don't know a uh, constant for the job, but I tried. Okay. okay, let's see. I'm going to fix this a little bit. So the last, the, la the last time I I use an application. Uh, maybe oh. maybe you know is Duolingo. Oh when yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I know those things. When okay. I, when I have and you were time, practicing. Yes, when I have time, I take a minute for, for make a practice. Okay, perfect. And tell me, uh, well, right now, tell me, is there any area where I could help you? Uh, yes, I have a problem with the, um, I don't know who to say, tiempos? Tenses, the verb tenses. tenses. Yes, I have problem. I, I, uh, I traveled to the United States the last week, and I okay. talk with my friend and her husband. But I use all the time the the verb in simple present because I have a problem to use incorrect tenses. Okay, so you were just using a simple present and for you was kind of uh, difficult. Yes, because I, I, I forget the, the use the verbs in correct tenses. Okay, but what do you mean by correct tenses? You were using in, in simple present and simple past or... Well, I use, I, uh, I use in simple present all the time, for example. Uh, I try to to talk about uh, my the last week, but I cuando, but when I talk about this, I use I make I am I I talk. Okay, yes, yes, <laughs> I forget well, the use in past or in future. Well, here what. What's really important is this, that uh, you have to remember something. You have to focus in, not just in the verb, you have to focus on the idea that each tense uh, transmits. Tenemos que enfocarnos no tanto en el verbo, sino en la idea que estamos transmitiendo. And that's going to help you. Y eso le va a ayudar. Because, I mean, First is important for you to remember. When do you use simple present? Cuando utilizamos el presente simple, do you remember? Yes, when I talk about the continuous activities. Okay. First of all, simple present is used to express facts, habits, and routine. Okay? okay. Facts, habits, and routine. That's what simple present expresses. Eso no expresa el presente simple. Facts, habits, routine. Hechos, hábitos, routine. Okay? Okay. Now, 
present continuous expresses an action that is happening right in the moment you say it. Presente continuo nos sirve para expresar algo que está sucediendo en el momento que lo decimos. Or perhaps an action that started and is still in process. O quizás una acción que comenzó y todavía está en proceso. Like, I am reading a new book. Estoy leyendo un libro nuevo. You get the idea? Yes. Because no. I, I read now, but but maybe I write tomorrow and exactly after, and tomorrow and before tomorrow. Uh, exactly. Finally, when I finish the book. Okay, now simple past. Simple past is used to express a finished action. El pasado simple es una acción que ya terminó. Okay. Okay. That action is finished. Like, uh, I went, you told me, I went to the United States uh, last week, right? Right. I went to the United States last week. That action is finished because you went and came back. Okay? Okay. So, uh, I'm going to be helping you, le voy a estar ayudando, uh, with some extra info about the tenses, okay? Okay. And if you got any type of questions, if you tienen algún tipo de preguntas, you can text me and I will gladly help you, right? Right. And here in this, in this module, we are going to see some, some info about that. Let me check your something. Let me revisar solo algo. Let's see what are we going to be covering. <laughs> we will work with future and permissions, when, if, yes, grammar. We are going to work with what clauses, imperatives, models, models. And there is, and there are, and we are going to work with present perfect also. That's going to help you a lot. Okay. That's going to open your, your vocabulary. And yes, we are going to use models a lot. We're going to be working with models. That's also going to help you. So don't worry. In this course, we are going to provide you with some elements, with some grammar elements that are going to help you to, to speak a little bit better, okay? Okay. So don't worry, don't worry. We are going to be covering. Now, what I need you to do is this. Every class we take a, a little, a little bit of grammar. And if you got any extra question for that, please don't hesitate. You can text me, okay? Okay, okay. That way I can help you directly on your ideas because in your case, you're telling me specifically what's your problem. So I can focus specifically on what you really need. Of course. Okay. okay. So what I need is for you to be telling me, okay? Lo que necesito que usted me diga. Whenever I explain something, if there's, if any doubt arises, if una duda surge, don't hesitate. Tell okay. me, ask me. And if it's in the middle of the class, I can explain and it's even better because it benefits the rest of the class. Of course. En okay, medio de la clase, even better, right? I mean, remember, this is your class, guys. Esta es la clase de ustedes, so I'm here to help you. And the idea is, is to have every topic like crystal clear. I mean, it doesn't matter for me to repeat as many times as necessary. For me, no problem to explain as many times as necessary. Okay, but thank you, teacher. What I need is your help telling me what is not clear. And we get, when we get to the tenses, cuando lleguemos a los tiempos, if the tense is not clear, ask me, okay? Okay. If the tempo not clear, ask me. Okay. I'll be there, like, having, keeping in mind that I need to explain that. Nice. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. No, no. You're welcome. 
I'm here to help you. Well, our little time is over, Miss. Creo que ya se nos acabó el tiempo. Was there any other topic that you would need me to help you? Hay otra cosita en la que le puedo ayudar. Maybe this is this is the principal problem that I have. Okay. The main, the main problem. The main problem. The main problem. Okay. Well, if you need extra help with another area, let me know. Okay. Remember, you can also access the platform puede accesar la plataforma to check out the, the video, the recording of the classes para revisar la grabación de la clase. Okay, that also helps. Eso también ayuda. And okay. perhaps to get something clear. And again, if you have any doubts, please ask me. I'm here to help you. Okay, thank you, teacher. I try to resolve my problem with my webcam because today doesn't work. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Well, at the beginning of the class, my microphone didn't work. I tried three different microphones. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that happens. Sometimes that happens. Yes. I try to resolve by okay. tomorrow. Perfect. I'll be waiting for you. Okay. Have a good bye night. night. Take care. Bye. Thank you, you. Have a good night. Okay, okay, we need to get a better position. Okay, and I think this is going to be this is going to be the position for the camera. Okay, this was today's class. The topic of the class was words to make steps in progress. That was our topic for today. It was a pretty interesting class actually. And it was nice that we have a lot of people here. So let's hope everybody attends to the class tomorrow. And that's it. The time's over. Let's hope the recording goes okay. Because if not, we are going to be in problems. We just need a few more seconds. To check it out. Let me see. Okay, well, see you tomorrow. Time's finished. Let's end this class.